This is an aftermarket review on St. Patrick's Day. This is E. Just wanted to review the, uh, first of all, we'll take a look at the 30-minute Globex charts. We had a barn burner yesterday with a, with a flyer in an egregious type day. So our thought today was that we would have a softer day and uh, an inside day and hopefully get a gentle pullback. Had a couple of ideas that came together for us today, and um, we looked primarily for this uh, overnight high, the 70 to be resistance um, coming in and backpedaling, hopefully towards that 55 to 56 and a quarter area. We thought that the first play might be this morning for the half gap and use the half gap as resistance. Uh, that 67 area for a push backwards, hopefully to come back and test into the 50s. We just thought yesterday was overdone and we could use a pullback. Uh, and this was a 456 type trade. After lunch, we thought that the general plan should be to buy in a, what we call an afternoon after trend day, give it time for moving averages to catch up, and then play <clears throat> the bounce to come in and uh, test and hopefully take out the high but not take out the prior high from the previous day. If you note the angels and demons from yesterday, um, this angel was an RTH angel and the Globex demon was this 70 and a half area. And these are the RTH charts and, and this was our angel first bar out of the gate previous day came back and <clears throat> touched down over here and we had at the end of the day the opposite coming back to touch the resistance bar and this was the uh, bar at uh, four o'clock uh, yesterday right, right at the end of the market came down had a pretty good push and we had a two-stepper that we thought would come into support and obviously 55 year open still a big idea for us and trying to see if we could get more of a range type day today rather than another straight up day uh, or a severe pullback we didn't think either one of those was appropriate today this was an absolute perfect idea of trapping price under the blue line and coming into the pink line and this is where we call be done by 56 and a quarter and the rest of the day it migrated upward got above this blue line took out the highs and obviously attacked that uh, resistance from yesterday and then came back and, and gently came back into the middle so perfect rhythm today for a soft day testing for support and then get another kick off uh, a longer term average this is typically what we look for to come into the rain line and then bounce, especially first time back. And we also noted how this would play out with our 30 minute charts, and that was RTH as well. 15 minute chart was in play for Globex. You can break through it, doesn't you? Don't have to be a purist and hope that it holds exactly to the tick, but it's going to be in that general neighborhood. So this helped confirm this idea. And this was our primary box today. And on this scale, we thought we identified this box and said that the range primarily today should be trading in between this general range. And we thought before you start thinking higher or lower, resolve this range. And we're still in that box. Look to us like the 120 chart was the primary chart today. Bouncing off the lower lines, <clears throat> finding resistance on the upper end, and coming back in obviously to the mid uni. Another look at the 240 chart above it, resistance, come back in and hold on to the potential mid uni, and obviously waiting for news tomorrow, FOMC, and then we'll have some more fireworks. So for now, Big push yesterday, absorbed some of it, come back halfway. This was a 50 back. Bounce into the close, and here we are waiting for news. Busy signing off. Hope you had a good one, and we'll catch you tomorrow.